Of the canonized saints of the Catholic Church, not many are considered more important than that of Mary, the mother of Christ. We have already discussed how Mary admits in the Bible that she was a sinner in need of a savior, but there is much more to say about Mary. Let's take a look at one of the central teachings of Romanism. Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 966. Finally, the Immaculate Virgin, preserved free from all stain of original sin, when the course of her earthly life was finished, was taken up body and soul into heavenly glory, and exalted by the Lord as queen over all things, so that she might be the more fully conformed to her son, the Lord of lords and conqueror of sin and death. The assumption of the Blessed Virgin is a singular participation in her son's resurrection and an anticipation of the resurrection of other Christians. So, in understanding her supposed role as described in Catholicism, and also her alleged status as Queen of Heaven, it would be interesting to see what the Bible has to say about this supposed illustrious title. Which in the case of Jeremiah, the title is given to one of Babylon's favorite goddesses. Jeremiah 7 verse 18 The children gather wood, and the fathers kindle the fire, and the women knead their dough, to make cakes to the Queen of Heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto other gods, that they may provoke me to anger. Jeremiah 44 verses 19 to 23 And when we burned incense to the Queen of Heaven, and poured out drink offerings unto her, did we make her cakes to worship her, and pour out drink offerings unto her, without our men? Then Jeremiah said unto all the people, to the men, and to the women, and to all the people which had given him that answer, saying, The incense that ye burned in the cities of Judah, and in the streets of Jerusalem, ye, and your fathers, your kings, and your princes, and the people of the land, did not the Lord remember them, and came it not into his mind? So that the Lord could no longer bear because of the evil of your doings, and because of the abominations which ye have committed, therefore is your land a desolation, and an astonishment, and a curse, without an inhabitant, as at this day, because ye have burned incense, and because ye have sinned against the Lord, and have not obeyed the voice of the Lord, nor walked in his law, nor in his statutes, nor in his testimonies, Therefore this evil is happened unto you, as at this day. When looking at who this, quotations, Queen of Heaven is, this is none other than Ishtar, who is connected in identity with Babel's Semiramis. To make a long story short, Babel mother worship is a continuing trend from the majority of false ancient religions and continues in the tradition of Roman Catholicism. The only Queen of Heaven that is mentioned in the Bible is directed at a pagan Babylonian whore idol. Mary was blessed among women, and she would have obviously denied such an offensive title and would have given all praise worship, and glory to her Lord and Savior.